Hello guys, welcome once again. In the last video I have shown you how to save your data from your C Sharp application into the MySQL database. In this video I will show you how to edit or update that data in the database with the help of your C Sharp application. So let's get started. First of all I will take a button from my toolbox and I will change its text to update update and when I click this button and whatever data I have updated in these text field this this uh, should be updated in my MySQL database. So just select your button and double click it and we will reach to our button click event for update. Once again go to your form and select save button which I have shown you in the last video how to save a data and double click it and to copy the whole code in between the event function from string to the ending of catch copy all the code from there because we are going to use this code we just need few changes so I have copied and pasted all the data here so you know how to write this data or how to write this code if you don't know please go to the last video and uh, see how did I write this code in here I'm going to change the query so last time we are passing the query to insert data in the database in this time we are going to update data so we are going to pass the update query so we are going to edit this query so just delete insert into and write update your database name dot table name and then write set and give a bracket so write update database dot table set and just uh, leave this uh, four column names like that only and I will delete this values okay and now I will copy this employee ID which is my first column name if you can see here employee ID name surname and age I am going to edit these four fields so I will go to my code and I will just copy this column name which is EID and paste it here and give equal to sign okay so we have to write update database dot e data set we are going to leave this or delete this column I am just uh, not deleting it because I will copy the name and paste it here so once the query is complete I will show you now once again copy this name and paste it here and equal to surname copy and paste it here and copy the age and paste it before your age and give equal to sign 
and I will delete this query. So now our query looks like update database name dot table name set EID which is my first column name is equal to single quote in between double quote in between plus sign here also plus double quote single quote and in between that I am passing this dot EID text which I have declared last time the text box name of EID which is this dot text so for the first column for to edit the first column write this and now to edit the name we are going to write name is equal to same but just change the name text box instead of EID we will we are passing name text box uh, string into the name column okay in the same way we are passing the surname is equal to single quote double quote plus this dot surname dot text and in the same way we are passing the age also okay here and after your bracket is closed for your query here just delete this because we have deleted the values bracket and write here where and copy this EID is equal to this dot EID text dot text just copy all the code before this plus sign and paste it after this where okay sorry once again I will copy all the string before this comma sign so because this is also the part of this text so I will copy this whole and paste it after where where your employee ID is this so once again the query is update database dot your table name set EID which is my column name is equal to single quote double quote plus this dot EID text which is my text box name dot text plus in the same way we will write name name is equal to single quote double quote plus this dot name text box name dot text plus and single quote double quote and I mean complete the single quotes in double quote from here and comma surname is equal to once again the surname text field and same is for the age we are doing and after this set we are writing where your employee IDs so your database needs to know which row has to be edited so I am taking my employee ID as a basis to change my data in the row so whatever my employee ID will be it will change the same row of the employee ID so that's why I've written where employee ID is equal to 
single quote double quote plus this dot eid text dot text plus your quotes complete okay now we are going to run this program and see if it runs or not I think I need to delete this bracket because I haven't used this bracket here also now we are going to run this program and I will give my username and password for example and my second form is open now suppose we see our database in the MySQL so suppose I want to change employee ID to data so right now it's 2 John Dell and 33 is his age now I will change here to instead of John I want to give him the name Mark and then last name and his age 55 for example now right now his age is 33 and I will click this update button and my data is updated I haven't changed the message box message so it's coming saved but my data is updated so I will close this and I will refresh my database to see if it's really changed and yes it's changed mark mm -hmm. Dell and age 55 I will just uh, change this message from save to update updated and now when we run our program give the username and password which is correct we reach to the second form and then now we are going to change some other data so suppose I want to change the age of this employee ID 3 so I will change it employee ID 3 name is the same no, I will also change the name because it's wrong. Patrick and Bell, and I want to change the age to 22. Right now it's 50, employee ID 3 age. And when I press update, it shows me the message updated. And now when I refresh my database, the data is changed. In this way you can update your data in the database with the help of your C Sharp application. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please rate, comment and subscribe and bye for now.